Do you ever consider that they may have found historical evidence that points to the time of when the Great Pyramid was built? Why would no evidence exist that tells us of when this mega wonder went up and more importantly, why? We generally accept the theory that this structure was built during the dynastic Egyptian period around 5,000 years ago. Even though overwhelming evidence exists that suggests the dynastic kingdom at the time would have been technologically incapable of such a feat of engineering brilliance. It just doesn't add up. But what does make sense is the stories that we dismiss as mythology, the stories of gods and of flying machines. The timeline that we accept is that of 5,000 years because we are told nothing exists to suggest there was an advanced civilization before this period of development and culture, but consider the Great Flood and all the sunken cities and pyramids across the globe. Consider the Sumerian and Egyptian king list that predates the dynastic period that takes all the credit for things that they were actually incapable of even replicating, never mind envisioning in the first place. Now, this brings us to Rama's bridge. This bridge is older than the development of culture and development that was played out by the survivors of the Great Flood. This place predates all known civilizations on the Earth today. There is documentation, oral stories, and even satellite imagery that proves without a doubt what this place is and neither science or historical experts can come up with any logical suggestion that would place this in the context of what they make us believe to be true. Wait till you hear this. Between India and Sri Lanka exists an ancient bridge that you could consider the smoking gun in terms of ancient civilizations. Images taken by NASA's space shuttle satellite has shown this land formation to be a long broken bridge under the ocean's surface. Now called Adams Bridge, it extends 18 miles from mainland India to modern day Sri Lanka. The Encyclopedia Britannica describes it as a chain of shoals, but notes, traditionally it is said to be the remnant of a huge causeway constructed by Rama, the hero of the Hindu epic Ramayana, to facilitate the passage of his army from India into Ceylon, Sri Lanka, for the rescue of his abducted wife Sita. Certain historical inscriptions, old travel guides, old dictionary references, and some old maps have been cited to support a religious and geographical belief that this is an ancient man-made bridge. In the Hindu epic Ramayana, the bridge was created by Rama and Lakshmana with the assistance of Hanuman and the Vanara army to reach Lanka to find Rama's wife Sita who had been kidnapped by Ravana. In 2007, the Sri Lankan Tourism Development Authority sought to promote religious tourism from Hindu pilgrims in India by including the phenomenon as one of the points of its Ramayana trail, celebrating the legend of Prince Rama. Some Sri Lankan historians had condemned the undertaking as a gross distortion of Sri Lankan history. Vaishnava News Network and some other US-based news services claimed to have found the remains of the bridge built by Rama and his Vanara army as narrated in Ramayana. Based on a study of the 2002 NASA satellite images, they contended it was not a natural formation, but a human-made structure. NASA distanced itself from the claim saying that the images reveal nothing more than a 30 kilometer long natural occurring chain of sandbanks. It also clarified that the images reproduced on the website may well be ours, but their interpretation is certainly not ours. Remote sensing images or photographs from orbit cannot provide direct information about the origin or age of a chain of islands and certainly cannot determine whether humans were involved in producing any of the patterns seen. Now, the dating of this bridge is absolutely extraordinary and dates back to the time of Rama. NASA apparently revealed to the Indian Bharatiya Janata party that this is as old as 1.7 million years old. Isn't that astonishing? The dimensions of the bridge are off the charts at a distance of 30 miles in length. Is this the result of ancient advanced technology? You have to wonder. Dr. Badri Narayanan, the former director of the Geological Survey of India, performed a survey of this structure and concluded that it was man-made. 
Dr. Badri Narayanan and his team drilled 10 boreholes along the alignment of Rama's bridge. What he discovered was startling. About six meters below the surface, he found a consistent layer of calcareous sandstone, corals, and boulder-like materials. His team was surprised when they discovered a layer of loose sand some four to five meters further down, and then hard rock formations below that. A team of divers went down to physically examine the bridge. The boulders that they observed were not composed of a typical marine formation. They were identified as having come from either side of the causeway. Dr. Badri Narayanan also indicates that there is evidence of ancient quarrying in these areas. His team concluded that materials from either shore were placed upon the sandy bottom of the water to form the causeway. So the connections are undoubtedly there. There is enough evidence to at least suggest that this ancient bridge is man-made, that human civilization is far older than 5,000 years, and history as we know it is completely soaked in delusion of belief that we as a people have believed without question for thousands of years now. What do you guys think of the epic bridge? Comments below and thank you for watching.